before I get in. Leave a comment. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys all had an amazing Christmas and you're excited for the new year in 2021. Hopefully these videos get you a little bit more excited for 2021, although I feel like basically everyone in the entire world will be excited for 2021 because of the year 2020 was. I have some things to address in this video. First of all is what happened to Vlogmas Day 3. I know I promised a Vlogmas Day 3 but basically what happened was as you guys saw in Vlogmas Day 2 Australia had been doing really really well with COVID. We had really had any new cases and so the rules had relaxed a little bit and we were able to go dancing and go out. We were still being COVID safe but the restrictions had allowed us to be doing what we were doing and then a lot of cases popped up and there was a big hot spot and so basically from when the hot spots popped up to Christmas I was in isolation I got COVID tested so so lucky that the results came out negative and basically what happened to vlogmas day three was I was just in isolation and it was pretty boring I was just editing watching tv shows I honestly wasn't doing anything really interesting in isolation so I just felt like it wouldn't have been a good vlog and I didn't want to film that and I didn't want to put it up because I knew I wouldn't be happy with it and so I hope you guys can respect my decision to not have a vlogmas day three and just leave the two that are up there because I feel like they are really really great and I really really love both of them. Finally let's talk about the video. So as you guys can tell, today's video by the title and the board is my favorite makeup products from 2020. All I want to say really quickly about this is I personally love these products. If you don't like them, that's okay. If they don't work for you, that is okay. This is my own personal opinion. Everyone has their own personal experiences and opinions about things. And that is 100% okay and that is 100% valid. This is just my experience with these products and I love them. Also, I would love to know the products that you guys have been loving in 2020. So please leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite products in 2020. And I'm gonna get started on mine, so let's just get right into the video. So I do have a majority of the products here in front of me, but some of them I don't have. It's either like I'm trying out a new product or I just haven't restocked on that product. But I will always include a photo of the product right here if I don't have the product. And every single product that I talk about will be down in the description below. So if you also want to find anything that I talk about, they will be there. So I've tried to do this in like a chronological order to like how I would do my makeup. So we're going to start with moisturizer. Obviously you guys know I do my skincare routine and that involves a moisturizer. But then I always come to my makeup routine and I use a second one. And the second one that I'm always using and love using is the Natio Daily Face Moisturizer with SPF 50 in it. And the reason why I love it is because of the SPF 50. The sun is not your friend, especially when it comes to your skin. So I think it is so important to be using an SPF on your face every single day. Doesn't matter where it's summer, spring, autumn, winter, doesn't matter. You need this on your face. And the reason why I love this one so much is not greasy. It's not like sunscreen where it leaves that white sheen and you just feel really icky and sticky and gross this feels like a moisturizer but it's protecting you at the same time so that is my moisturizer also we're having a bit of bad weather in australia it just started raining if you can hear it i apologize so product number two is a primer i don't have the primer here with me but it is the Too Faced hangover primer i am obsessed with this primer and the reason why is because it makes my skin feel moisturized and I love feeling moisturized and just having really dewy skin before I apply my foundation. I just feel like this helps it sit so much better on my skin and just look so much better, much more of an airbrushed kind of effect to the foundation. Next, I am going into foundation and concealer and the reason why I'm doing them both at the same time is they're from the same brand and the same line under the brand. So they are the Too Faced 
for Miss Way foundation and concealer. You guys know I love this foundation. I rave about it all the time. I love the formula of this. It's hydrating. It's a medium coverage foundation, which I love. So I can keep it light for every day and I can build up for night. And the concealer to go along with it, I love this concealer. It reminds me very much of Tarte Shape Tape. Now the reason why I didn't pick Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to be my favorite 2020 concealer was the fact that it is the same shade as my foundation. And so the reason why I picked this one is number one, it's a very similar formula to the Tarte Shape Tape, high coverage, beautiful finish, but it is lighter than my foundation and so it gives me that look that i'm going for it's just why i picked this one for my favorite all right liquid products you all know i will use a liquid bronzer and a liquid blush every single day i swear by it this is the models prefer contour stick i love this stick it applies so amazing it blends like an absolute dream and it's ten dollars the only problem I have with this product is there are only two shades and this shade whilst I'm able to make it work it is a bit too orangey for me so I will be trying out some newer contour sticks in the future so blush I was able to pick a favorite blush but I did just really want to bring these guys into the video and give them an honorable mention they are the Morphe X Melly Ziegler lip and cheek tints I've got all the shades here. I definitely don't think they are a product that can be applied on powder, which most liquid products you can't apply on powder anyways. So I was doing that when I first started using these and honestly they did make my foundation move and it just looks really odd. But now that I'm putting it under my powder, they apply like a dream. The only reason why they're not my favorite is just because of the packaging. You take the lid off and you dip your entire finger in there. It's 100% getting under my fingernail and it's just a little bit messy. The product that's got them trumped on the packaging is the MCO Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint. So this product is amazing. You can find it in your supermarket, but the packaging, look at that, and I can just squeeze it out right onto my finger and there's no mess. This color is my absolute favorite and it blends amazingly. The formula is so liquidy and creamy. I, I can't rave about these products enough. Alrighty, next is powder. I feel like this isn't gonna come as a surprise. My favorite powder is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. The one thing I love about this powder because I have tried some drugstore powders and they all did this to me. They gave me flashback and we don't like flashback here that's not what we want we don't want to spend that long putting on our makeup go out somewhere not right now but when we can go out somewhere and it feels super hot want to have some great photos of us and then when they put on the flesh because it's dark so you have to have white patches under our eyes it is not what we want and so that is why we go to this beautiful queen here because she doesn't do that i mean i would be interested to try some more high-end powders next year do you guys have a high-end powder that you love let me know in the comments but yeah this is mine eyebrows i mean everybody loves this product everybody owns this product everybody's tried this product is there any use in me saying it? Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is in the shade Chocolate. It matches me perfectly. I love this. I loved how little it is. So you can build it up so you can make your brows thick if you really want it to and like really bold or you can be really light and feathery with this. You can't go wrong with this with your brows. Wingardium Leviosa. Alrighty. Eyeshadow. Out of the entire year of 2020 and the amount of eyeshadow palettes that have been brought out, you cannot expect me to have one favorite. So I don't. I picked three. First one that I want to talk about, I reviewed on this channel. I feel like there's not going to be much of a surprise here. It is the Medicine BX Morphe palette. I literally am telling everyone to buy it and buying it for people because I love it that much. It's just such a universal palette. It's got like the best shades ever. It's got mauvey pinks, purples, pinks, and brown. It is amazing. And the formula that Morphe use 
is so blendable, so pigmented. I absolutely love it. Sure, some of the matte shades, especially when I swatched it on this channel, I was like, it's not coming up straight away. You're gonna have to apply a couple layers of it. I personally don't mind doing that. I like going in with a lighter hand with eyeshadows and being able to blend them up. If you are looking for a new palette for 2021, I would highly recommend this one. The second one that I want to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Kali Bible palette. I love Kali Bible. I've talked about her a little bit on this channel, but I have been watching her before I even started this channel. But she did grace us this year with this amazing, beautiful palette. I love the colors in here. Oh my goodness, the pigment on these shadows is absolutely amazing, and they all just look so stunning. The only thing I will say is the Anastasia formula, so they do create a lot of kick up and a little bit of fallout. So just be tapping your brush or blowing it just to make sure you're minimizing as much pull out as possible. Played around with this so much this year. I absolutely loved it. Thank you, Carly and Anastasia for this amazing collab and this beautiful palette. And last but not least is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. The reason why I am putting this palette in is solely because of the shimmer shade. There is nothing like Huda Beauty Shimmer Shade. They are the most creamy, pigmented formula I have ever come across. The matte shades, they scare me a little bit because of how pigmented they are. But I am never disappointed when I'm going on a night out and I dip into these shimmer shades. Next is eyeliner. You guys know that I love my eyeliner. I use eyeliner every single day. So I'm always on the market to try out the best eyeliner out there. And I think I found it. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. I honestly don't know what it is about this product. I think it is how pigmented it is with the black and the head. So the head is actually little fine hairs because I'm looking for a product where my eyeliner is easy to apply. This does that. This, the head it's got is amazing, so easy to control and it is so pigmented. It does have a flaw though. If you close the lid on the brush head funny, the fine hairs will kind of like spray up. Even when that happens, I still use it. Let's move on to mascara. So you all know I love to lay on my mascara. So the first one I want to talk about is the Flower Beauty Flower Warrior Volumizers. It makes them bold. It just Look, it does everything you want a mascara to do. And then I like to put on top the Too Faced Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara. The reason why I picked the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara is nothing will hold that curl like the Waterproof Mascara. I also really like it because the more I apply it, the more clumpy it becomes on my eyelashes. I personally like a little bit more of a clumpy look. For my bronzer, I have two bronzers that I wanted to talk about. One is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I think the packaging was amazing. It smelled amazing. It applied amazing. It suited my skin tone so well because it wasn't very orangey. But it's not sold in Priceline anymore, which is our drugstore. So I found a alternative to it which is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Not only does this bronzer smell like chocolate and make me want to eat it every single time I use it, it is very similar to the Physicians Formula Bronzer where it is much more of a blue undertone. It doesn't have those orange tones in it. It blends amazing. It's very buildable. It's everything I need it to be in a bronzer. Alrighty. Blush powder blush. So I'm first going to talk about the Natio blush. I love the formula. I love the price point. I love the pigmentation. I feel like you can't go wrong with a Natio blush. And then a newer one to come into my collection is the Flower Beauty blush. This is in Wild Rose. It is super pink. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I love it. it and the, the packaging as well. Can we just 
take a minute to talk about how they've actually put a flower in the blush like well done highlighter i can't open this one up for you because she recently broke but the becca highlighter is amazing i just feel like everyone knows that they do the most amazing highlighters the formula is amazing they're very pigmented they sit on the skin so nicely i also reviewed this on my channel it is the madison via x multi illuminating setting spray i Fell in love with this product as soon as I tried it. I love that it smells like cucumbers. And I also love that it has these tiny little flecks of gold. Like little buckles that you can hardly even see in it. It brings a glow to your face. It illuminates you. You look stunning. I literally recommend this to every single person. So lastly, we have lips. I've got lip glosses and then I've got lipsticks. So let's start with the lip glosses. The Madison Beer X Morphe lip glosses. I said it in the video, I absolutely love them. I don't have the shade right now because my friend borrowed it off me and she still got it. But the Venus lip gloss from this range is my absolute favorite. The shade in itself is just so stunning. And the formula is amazing. If you're looking for a pigmented lip gloss, also, this one is great and the other ones in the collection are also great, but that shade just won my heart. And the next one I wanted to talk about are the Fenty Gloss Bombs. I've got Fussy and Fenty Glow. These both just give you the most beautiful tint to your lips. You just can't go wrong with these. And lastly, I've got two lipsticks that I wanted to talk about. The first one has been my ultimate favorite liquid lipstick for a very long time since I purchased it. It is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. It is in Sellout. This shade, it's so similar to my lip color, but it deepens it and it just makes them so much more beautiful. I don't know what it is. It's just like the perfect color for me. I'm not 100% crazy about the formula because they are quite drying, but the way to avoid this is to apply a lip balm or a purple ointment first and then apply this and you'll be absolutely fine. And lastly, but certainly not least, this is probably a makeup product that came the latest into my collection. Definitely earned its spot. It is the Chanel lipstick in the shade 90. It's the one I'm wearing today. It might have faded a little bit. But wow. I feel like these two are very similar, but this is just a liquid one and this one is like a stick one. This formula is a lot more moisturizing though than this one, so if that's more what you're looking for, check out this one. These have been my favorite lipsticks in 2020. Alrighty everyone, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the products that I have been absolutely loving in 2020. I'm also really excited to try new products in 2021. So maybe I'll come back next year in 2021 and all these products will have changed. I guess we'll just have to see. I actually did get asked by some people to make this video recommending my favorite products. So I hope this was really informative for all of you that asked for this video. And if because of this video you do try out any of these products, please let me know in the comments what you thought of them and if you love them as much as I do. If you did like this video, then please, please, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You guys know it means the world to me when you guys interact with my videos. Also subscribe. We have a giveaway when we get to 100 subscribers. So subscribe to be in the draw to win a prize. And also subscribe to join the little family that we've got going on here. And make sure to hit that notification bell because you've got three more videos coming and then we're in 2021. Can you believe that? So make sure to get excited for the other videos coming very, very soon. And I will see you beautifuls in my next video. Bye beautifuls.